Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will talk about functions in the Dart. So without wasting time, let's get started. Function is the self-contained block of statement that performs a specific task. We actually write the function to perform a specific operation. It might be to find out the factorial of given number, might be to get the data from Firebase, or might be for doing the operations like authentication or the Firebase and so on. Function actually takes some data as the input. It processes the data and returns the result as an output. Function divides your large program into small parts. Function is the reusable component in the program. It means once function is created, that function can be called, it can be used as and when required in the program. This definitely saves your efforts and time for writing the application. Function increases the readability of your code it makes your program simple to understand and simple to maintain. Function in that is actually an object. That's the reason we can assign or we can store a function inside a variable. We can even use a function to pass as a parameter to another function and we can use a function as return value so that it can be returned to the another function. Last but not the least point, method and functions are the different concepts. Basically, when we write a function inside a class that is called a method. So we can simply say a method is a function that belongs to a class or an object. And the function is actually an individual thing. Means if we have a function which is not actually a part of a class, then in this case, we can say a such an individual entity is just a function. This is a simple function to find out factorial of given number. So try to understand each and every part of this function. So initially I have written int here. This int is basically a return type of function. A return type of function means a type of value that function will return as a result. So in this case, you can see I have variable fact, which is of type integer, and I'm returning the value of fact. That's the reason in my case, the return type is integer. But consider your function is returning a double kind of value or maybe a string kind of value. So in this case, you have to pass that specific return type as per your requirement. That allows us to define a function without writing a written type, but it is not at all recommended as per the documentation. And if you omit your written type, that is, if you are not specifying a written type, it means your function by default returns the dynamic value. Consider a situation where you don't have anything to return through your function. In this case, you need to specify void. So void indicates there is no return value or nothing written from the function. The next thing that is factorial that I have written here is called a function name. So function name must be a valid identifier. Using function name, we can call or invoke a function as and when required. Integer n that I specified is called a parameter. So parameter are simply the value that are received from the caller function. So don't worry, we'll uh, learn all these what is calling function, call function, wait in a moment. The first line of function is actually called as a function header that consists of these three parts, written type, the function name and the parameter list. Then the opening curly bracket and this closing curly bracket, this portion is known as a function body. Thus the function header plus function body gives you the complete function definition. In this case, we can see I have written a return fact. So this statement is known as a return statement which will return the final result or value to its caller. This is an example program where I am finding a factorial of given number by using a function. For this, I have created a function called factorial. That's what we have seen a few minutes before. So int specifies return type, factorial is name of the function and int n is the parameter that I specified. This is what logic that calculates the factorial of given number. And finally, after performing the calculation, I'm simply returning the value of this fact. Now. In order to call this function, I'm using a main function, which is obviously the entry point for your Dart application. So main is again a function similar to the factorial function. The only difference is when program is executed, nobody is going to call your factorial functions by default. So when your program gets started, it is the main function, which is, it is the main function, which will be started automatically by the Dart. That's the reason we say main is the entry point for your application. Inside main, I have written this statement called factorial in bracket 5. So this particular line is known as a function call. Now due to function call, what will happen? The factorial function will be called and the logic of factorial function will run. And finally, it will return the value of fact 
and that will be stored inside this variable f and the next line that i have is a print factorial of i u is equal to the value of f when i run this program i will get factorial of i u is equal to 120 now if you really want to understand how this program runs or what is actually a function calling mechanism then just give me your single minute so as we know the execution of program is started from the main so the execution of main will start at the beginning so inside this main i'm calling a function called factorial that's the reason this main function is known as a calling function so let me write here the calling function and what will happen this particular statement that i have written is factorial with 5 this particular line or this particular statement is known as a function call so this is a function call here now what happened due to function call due to function call the execution of your calling function that is in this case the execution of main function will be pause and control is transferred from the main that is from calling function to the factorial function now in this case i can say this factorial function is actually a called function because it is being called from the main now while calling the function this particular value 5 will be assigned inside this n so this concept is called passing a parameter so value of this 5 will be assigned to n then after doing this the execution of function will start and function will start doing the operation and that will simply find out the factorial of even number that is the factorial of 5 and this factorial result that is of course the result that i have got is 120 and that will be written to the calling function now as in this case main is the calling function this particular return statement will return the value inside the variable f that i have placed on the left side of this is equals to so when function call gets complete this particular value of fact that is 120 will be stored inside this variable f and after the function gets completed the execution of calling function will resume and the print statement will get executed and that prints the output factorial of 5 is equals to 120 on the screen and after reaching this closing bracket of main execution of your program will stop that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really like the way i'm explaining the concept then don't forget to like share subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos